All aboard the Queen Mary 2. The iconic transatlantic cruise ship Queen Mary 2 is back in service and ready to set sail after a $132 million makeover. The ship has new staterooms with a new focus on solo travelers. Add to that upscale dining options and lots of luxurious places for passengers to relax and enjoy themselves. Captain of the Queen Mary 2, Christopher Wells. We've been in service for 12 years already and so we are giving a new lease of life for the next 10 to 20 years. It's for the decades to come. A good time can be had by all, including pets. Dogs and cats are getting the royal treatment. The kennels are among the ship's best-selling accommodations. They are booked months in advance and cost $800 to $1,000 per pet. Carolyn Spencer-Brown, editor-in-chief of CruiseCritic.com. I think what's interesting about the renovation is, for the most part, you're not going to notice anything changed because it's so true to this, the sort of the story of this beautiful ocean liner. I think in some cases, trends have changed. So, for example, the King's Court buffet area is different. The, the Winter Garden has now become a much more kind of fun tapas cocktail tea place to go. But really, they're keeping up with some trends, but not throwing out the whole baby with the bathwater and getting rid of some of the things that have really become storied traditions in the cruise industry. The original Queen Mary Ocean Liner debuted in New York 80 years ago. Now it serves as a floating hotel moored in Long Beach. The Queen Mary 2 was launched in 2004.